you know, you got this huge game with the Cowboys who are rolling right now. Dak Prescott is one of the best quarterbacks in the league. If you want to just look at, you know, ratings and things like that, uh, completion percentage, they seem to be finding their groove at the wrong time for the Seahawks who are still looking for their groove. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're, if you're the ultimate optimist, tell me why the Seahawks win this game. What happens? What do they do to win this game? What do they do that they hadn't done last week or the week before? Uh, what What is it about this matchup that makes you feel good? I'm, I'm, I'm looking for optimists here because if, if you're being honest and not being a pessimist or a hater or anything, but if you're just going on how they've played as of late and facing off against this team that seems to be rolling right now, I don't feel great about their – I'm not yeah. saying it's impossible. The Seahawks have shown that if, if they play – a, a football, basically don't get in your own way, cut down on the penalty. They can be a very good team, but they don't have a, they're not good enough to get in their own way the way they have with penalties and miscommunication and who, what happened on that play? Who was, whose responsibility was this? Blah, blah, blah. They don't have that slack. They're not good enough for that. So if they, if they can somehow find that game where they, where they don't commit a, a whole bunch of penalties and they, you know, everybody's on the same page, so to speak. Yeah, certainly they can win this game. But you tell me why, Lefko. Tell me why in You're your, asking in your me, football uh -oh. wisdom I'm why you the think optimist. they're going to win. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a few reasons. And first of all, I am fascinated to hear about the uh, drug-induced issues from your, your dental work. Oh, we can probably goodness. get to that at 245 with yeah. What's Bug and Bob <laughs> aptly I'm, today. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't true. tell you. There we go. Uh, well, you're here, so great to have you back, Bob. But I, I will say that if so, we got one test. 360 says fix the third down issues. Yes, obviously. Fix the third down issues. You extend drives. You have the type of drive the 49ers had against the Seahawks to start the game. You march right down the field. You take up a lot of time. Or the drive the Seahawks had against the 49ers, but it ends in a touchdown. In that third quarter, <laughs> they go 14 plays, 83 yards. Oh, wait, they don't get that touchdown part of it. It's if those long drives end in touchdowns, you keep that potent Dallas offense off the field. You convert on all the things you've had trouble with, where in a game against the Bengals, they convert maybe more of those red zone opportunities. That's a win. Uh, the red zone opportunities against Rams, perhaps that's a win. So all of those. And my hope, if you're asking me from the optimistic perspective, hopefully Dallas has had some inflated numbers but inferior competition. Because if you look at their schedule, they have beaten up on a lot of bad teams. The Giants yeah. twice, the Jets, crushed the Patriots, uh, the Panthers, and the Commanders. So the hope is, okay, when they play – a good team, and do we know if the Seahawks are a good team? I, I don't know. Debatable. But when they play a better times. team than the dregs of the league, maybe they're not as good as their numbers would say they are. Yeah, I, I would imagine they come back. I mean, right now they've got the best point differential in all of the NFL at 162, plus 162. Just by way of comparison, the Seahawks are minus 20. Hmm. So, uh, you know, some of that is blowouts. You you'd chronicled the team they play now. Coincidentally, those are some of the teams the Seahawks have beaten as well. So, so take it for what it's worth. But I'm I'm looking for that optimist. I'm looking for that not the fan. The fan always they're going undefeated. They're going 17 and 0. They're never going to lose. Well, g give me the realistic reason they're going to win this game. To me, because they're the Seahawks. Because that doesn't quite cut it. But KJ Wright was on talking about this, and he feels good about their chances against the team. I totally agree. I totally agree. In Dallas, another primetime opportunity. This girl doesn't lose too many in primetime. And when I look at these Cowboys, who have they really beat? Who have the Cowboys beat of significance in the NFL? You can't name a team, Salt. You see, he stole your argument. Maybe he, I he stole, stole his, your point. But yeah. yeah, well, I was giving you a credit. But, <laughs> Thank you. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he's he, uh, that's a fair – it's a fair point to make. I mean, strength of schedule, you can look at it, you know, all right, who are they beating? But, again, you could point to the Seahawks and say, all right, well, who did they beat? Well, they beat some of the same teams. They beat the one-win Panthers. They beat you know, the, uh, who else, the Giants. They, Twice. Those were back-to-back yeah. weeks. Oh, for the Seahawks, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So they beat the Giants. Yeah. They beat, you know, they beat Washington. They beat three of the same teams out there. So, I listen, I want this team to win in the worst way. But if I'm if I'm going to Vegas with my last one hundred dollars and I got to turn this into something more than a hundred, who's going to win? I'm, I got to put it on the Cowboys. I will say this, Bob. We in a in a vacuum say, oh, there's no way that a team looks past another team. Yeah. Certainly, they get equally hyped. You know, it's a game. They're going to go out there. They're going to play their best. These are humans. I don't know if that's realistic to say. Hey, sometimes you look past an opponent, and I think the Seahawks are at the point where. With what's coming up for the Cowboys, their biggest game of the year is next week against the Eagles. They had a very tough, 
knock it out, hard fought, lost to the Eagles. The aspirations for them are the division. They came close last year. So with Eagles looming after this, they have Eagles, Bills, Dolphins. The Seahawks might be sliding in as the uh, hey look past them kind of team. <laughs> And I, I, you know, think I don't they're know. sleeping on the Seahawks. They could be. We like to think that no opponent ever takes a team lightly. Certainly, yeah. you would never take another team lightly. But it's especially human nature. in prime time on Thanksgiving. It's human nature to look at your division rivals. They had the Commanders on Thanksgiving. They had a big win there, riding high. The Eagles are looming. That is mm-hmm. the game. That's the game of the year for the Cowboys. Them in their place. Perhaps, if you're looking for optimism, now I'm trying to skew to the optimistic side, perhaps the Cowboys are overlooking the Seahawks. Perhaps. I don't buy it, but perhaps. You never know. You asked me to be optimistic. No, I I put you in a spot. I don't know if I'm optimistic about this game. Well, and again, I think think it is a tougher question than than you you might think because you kind of have to take the fandom out of it. Like, you got to look at it objectively and go, okay, here's who the Seahawks have been, here's who Dallas has been. In order for the Seahawks to win this, they've got to be able to do X, Y, and Z. It's not, you can't put, you got to go with your head, not your heart on this one. And it, it makes it a little bit tougher. Now, 206 says, if, if, in capital letters, the Hawks are going to win, it's going to be because of takeaways. And then I'm, I'm with the 206 on that. They have got to take the ball out of the hands of that offense. Now, the problem is that's a very good defense, too. And they're playing really well. I mean, they're just, they're, the team's playing well. And again, maybe it's a function of their schedule. But I agree with the 206 here that I think they've got to minimize possessions for the Cowboys if they can with takeaways. Uh, and and if you are able to turn the ball over, if you are able to come up with a turnover or two or three, you got to be able to function in the red zone, man. You can't go field goals. You got you got to find your way. They've got to fix some of their problems, which have been third down, which has been the red zone. Does it get fi- Is it too much to expect it gets fixed here? I don't know. But that's if we're talking about realistic chances of winning the game, again, not if the, if the Seahawks won, I wouldn't come in the next day going, I can't believe they won. They, they are capable of winning, but they kind of have to play perfect football and have the Cowboys maybe look past them or maybe just have a have a down day where they're turning the ball over or whatever. It, it feels like a lot has to happen for them in order to win.